Seth, coming off the All-Star break, I guess first uh, just check in with you. How was your break and uh, how important was it to get a little rest? Yeah, it was good. I think some guys needed uh, some some rest here for the final push here. Um, you know, we got to have our uh, best foot forward every night. We got to come to play 60 minutes every single night. So uh, we can't afford to take any games off. And, um, you know, the four days hopefully rejuvenated us, refreshed us, and hopefully we're ready to go. Yeah, leading into the break, you played two real tough games against uh, one of the best teams in the division, ended up falling by a, a goal in each game. Uh, what's it going to take to get over the hump and pick up points against teams like that? Yeah, I mean, I thought we were right there with them too. Um, the first game more so than the second game. The second game, we just kind of had a late push. Um, but, you know, I think it should just be a confidence knowing that we can play with these teams. Um, but, you know, these next two games are, are huge for us. Um, you know, but one game at a time, we got to worry about Rockford. Um, they beat us last time when we were here, so we got we to gotta make sure we're ready to go. Yeah, on the road so far or over the last stretch of games, it's been tough for the team to pick up wins. What's been different about playing on the road versus at home other than maybe the obvious of changing last and uh, having your home fans? Yeah, I mean, I think for some reason we've always been a team that played uh, pretty well at home. Even going back to last year, we went on that streak. So um, it's, not so, uh, it's not so much worrying about our home games. It's just for some reason it's just the road. Uh, um, whether you know guys got to get in a better routine or you know prepare their bodies uh, in better ways or more sufficient ways, um, you know I think guys just got to find a routine and that works and stick with it. Keep it simple and you know that's what we got to do with our game tonight. Keep it simple, um, making sure we're uh, putting pressure uh, on them and not turning pucks over. And I think we'll be we'll be okay. This team brings a lot of speed here in Rockford. So, how do you, is is it that simple game that gets you out of danger when they're coming at you? Yeah, they come out uh, pretty hard uh, right off the get go, especially every period. So, they play a fast game. They play a definitely a north south game. They move move pucks. They try and get behind our D. So, I think if we're doing a good job uh, defensively, um, we'll create turnovers and we'll go the other way and get our opportunities. For the most part, over the last run of games, defense hasn't been a problem for you guys, uh, allowing it pretty much the under three goals a game, which is crucial. So what's it going to take to get the offensive side of the game going? Yeah, I mean, in the first game in Iowa, too, we had over 40 shots. So we're getting our opportunities, but I don't think they're, um, you know, uh, high, high class opportunities. I think they're, you know, perimeter shots without guys in front of the net. So I think we got to get a better job of getting... Uh, um, get more bodies to the net, creating, uh, you know, or making it difficult on the goalie to see the puck and make easy saves. Because right now, I think, even though we're getting, you know, a decent amount of shots, I think it's just perimeter shots. A couple of guys head up to the Jets. Don't think that was unexpected with some of the injuries that they had going into the break. But uh, how do you fill the gaps of a couple of veteran guys? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, Shazi hasn't been here all year, so the, that's not really something that we should have to worry about. Um, but, you know, Shills has obviously been here um, the whole year, and he's uh, he plays a lot of minutes. He logs a lot of minutes. He plays in every situation, so somebody's going to have to step up on the back end and uh, fill his shoes because uh, he's definitely a big part of our team.